Inflation is soaring, and it seems like the prices of everything from gas to groceries to properties are going up at levels we have not seen ever during our lifetimes. So what can somebody do to combat all these rising prices, and what can you specifically do to take advantage of the property values going up without having to sell your property? Well, a market like this is actually a great opportunity and very advantageous for cash out refinancing. You can access a portion of the available equity in your property or properties without having to sell them, and you can use the money for pretty much any purpose that you choose. So in today's lesson, I'm going to break down exactly how it works and how you can take advantage. I want to hone in on the hottest product of 2022. It's a volatile market, and we're talking about cash out refinancing. So then why is cash out refinancing so hot this year? Highest home values in the history, basically, of the country. So anybody that's been contemplating using that equity, tapping that equity, getting access to that equity, they're going to have access to more money now than they would have six months a year ago. Second thing is staying in place. They don't want to uproot themselves, their kids, their family, and move somewhere else. So what they're doing is they're staying in place, which means they want to improve the property that they're in. They want to make it more feasible for their family to stay. Maybe they want to have more kids. Maybe they need more room. People are working from home. People are learning from home, schooling from home, and all that stuff. All that's possible with money. Where do you have that money? In the walls of your home, but you got to get access to it through a mortgage. So what are the main reasons that you are seeing that people are cash out refinancing right now? I mean, the number one reason right now is debt consolidation. Mm. I've had so many call me just in the last few weeks. So I'm actually my way into the studio. I heard credit card debt is at like an all time high now. Okay, so debt is higher than it's ever been. Inflation's so high. Where? How? What do you do? The answer is right in your home. The answer is in that equity. Home improvements, next big reason. Number two, like I was just talking about, adding on uh, renovations to your property, redoing the kitchen, adding a bedroom, bathroom, et cetera, making it more feasible for you to stay there long term. Um, Buying other property, got a lot of interest in this, uh, especially in the last couple months. The last one I want to hone in on here, Gary, is investment opportunities. Mm. You know, Everyone's talking about the doom and gloom, the pessimism, everything's down, crypto's down, the stock market's down like 30% this year. It's obscene. What's not down though? Real estate's not down. Real estate is the shining star of this economy right now. It's the only asset class that's not doing horrible right now. So I'm curious, Rob, then how much equity does someone need in order to have a cash out refinance? A lot of misconceptions about this one for sure. If you're getting a conventional or FHA mortgage, you need to have between 20 and 30% equity to be able to take money out of the property. If you're sitting there with 5 or 10% equity on a conventional mortgage, it's not going to work. The only loan that allows no or very little equity, I should say, is a VA loan, Veterans Administration loan. That'll allow you to tap 90% up to 100% in certain circumstances. We can go up to 100% cash out refinance. There is a stigma around cash out refi. Come on. There is, but I, I'd say the cash out refi stigma is starting slowly but surely to go away because so many people have taken advantage of these opportunities that finally people are hearing the success stories of people saving all this money. The reason is the stigma is there is because of the Great Depression, really, and what happened back then. You know, someone knew someone and then it got passed down through parents and grandparents and you you heard like mortgages are bad. You don't want the mortgage get rid of the mortgage. Well, cash out refi is the opposite. We're giving you a bigger mortgage. So if you came from a place where you were told never get a mortgage or get rid of it, then this is the opposite. It's hard to stomach, right? You need you need real credibility. You need validity, validation to make this actually happen. Well, if I show you a way to save a thousand or more dollars a month, how is that not going to validate that this is a good strategy? How is cash out refinancing today different than it was In the last housing boom, what was that, 2001 through 2006? Right. All you had to do back in the last housing boom to get a cash out refi was basically fog a mirror. I mean, that was it. You had to basically be a human being. You didn't need a job. (laughs) You didn't need much equity at all. You could get a cash out refi. I remember doing loans for people with 500 credit scores, 505, 525. Now you're looking at cash out refi. Maybe if you're lucky, you're getting a cash out refi on an FHA loan with a 580. But more often than not, 620 is the barrier to entry on that. 
And I would say majority of my clients, the average cash out refi client is around 680 to 690. I hope now you see the amazing opportunity that cash out refinancing can give you in the current market. If it's your first time watching us here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also smash the bell so you get notified on all of our future content. If you know someone else who may find value, please share this video with others and comment below. Let us know what other types of videos you'd like to see on the channel. I do offer personal consultations. So if I can be of assistance to you or someone else, reach out to me by call, text, or private message. My direct line is 860. 413-3938. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.